included in Vancouver on the North Shore and north of Fraser. And we've picked out three of the top personalities, starting with uh, Gordon Campbell, Liberal leader, current premier, who's running in Vancouver Point Grey. Should be in a tough battle with NDP Mel Lehan, although this is considered a Liberal stronghold. Same thing with Cash Heed, who is now running in Vancouver Fraser View. He's replacing Wally Opal, uh, who moves down to See Delta. He makes Cash out in this election 2009. So those are some of the top personalities. When the results start coming in, we'll be able to show them to you very clearly and very concisely on our results page. You'll see the name of the riding right up at the top, percentage of polls remote in the last few elections. And uh, from 2001 to 2005, the numbers give a very good indicator of eligible voters. This is voter turnout. How many people are eligible to vote in BC? How many actually register to vote? And how many of them actually show up to vote on voter election day? Out by very age in a couple of important age graphics. 55 plus, show it on pie charts for you here. Candidates that I'll be following tonight will be two party leaders. Of course, Carol James is running in Victoria Beacon Hill. She is the NDP incumbent there, but of course, she is also the leader of the NDP, has been since 2003, and she should have no problem uh, winning that riding again. Jane Sturk is running right next door in Esquimalt Royal Roads, hoping to become the Green Party's first MLA elected to the BC legislature. She is in tough against a popular NDP incumbent. In they added some liberal favored polling stations in the north. So what could happen tonight could be anybody's guess in Nanaimo and in several other ridings on Vancouver Island and the Sunshine Coast. In the field with a number of reporters in critical locations, Lynn Collier is at Liberal headquarters at the Convention Center in downtown Vancouver. Steve Darling is at NDP headquarters at the Empress Hotel in Victoria. Ron Benzie is in Delta covering Wally Opal. 15 ridings here on the island, and historically it's been an NDP stronghold. However, there are a few races we'll be watching very closely tonight. Here's a quick look at the battleground ridings on the island. The Comox Valley riding, once held by the late and popular Stan Hagen, who died earlier this year of a heart attack, has left this seat open to an NDP victory, even though this riding typically votes for more center or center-right parties, provincially and federally, the economy could be a factor, and the NDP could steal this one back. Now, moving down the island, things the carbon tax, and she quits the party. That was uh, April 17th. Two days later, uh, underwear gate, NDP candidate Ray Lamb is forced to resign after some embarrassing pictures of him show up on Facebook, so he's out. Two days later, uh, actually a few days later, Solicitor General John Van Dongen admits that he has lost his driver to 47 percent, NDP at 38 percent, and the Greens at 12. Okay, we're going to drop that down and show you another poll that was conducted on April 24th, and respondents were asked in this poll who would make the best premier out of the three party leaders, and uh, probably not surprising to liberal so supporters. Counted, along with questions for our expert panel. Let's go to our web producer, Peter Meisner, now, who will tell us how you can get involved tonight. Peter? Thanks, Tony. For the first time tonight, we're using the power of the Internet to find out what you think about tonight's provincial election. Just go to our website at globaltvbc.com and click on the Sound Off banner. Then you can send us your comment or send a question to our expert political panel. And we'll feature some of your comments Lane, and questions. For those of you who remember the election in 1983, uh, social credit uh, leader Bill Bennett defeating Dave Barrett of the NDP, 70.5% of eligible voters voted in that election, and it started dropping from that point on. Bill van der Zam, the charismatic premier that so many people uh, uh, remember. We'll be back to begin our coverage as the polls close in about two minutes' time.